Hi all. In today's lesson, we are going to see about induced magnetism. Before entering into our lesson, let's have a look at two main magnetic materials. One is steel, another one is iron. Steel is otherwise called as hard magnetic material because it's very difficult to magnetize as well as very difficult to demagnetize. So for making permanent magnets, they use hard steel. Ion. Ion is otherwise called as soft magnetic material because it is easy to magnetize as well as easy to demagnetize. So they use soft ion for temporary magnets like electromagnets. So that's all about this. Let's conclude steel or hard steel for permanent magnets, iron or soft iron for temporary magnets. Let's have a look at our induced magnetism. I have taken magnets because to increase its magnetic field, I have combined so many magnets. We all know that around this magnet, there will be magnetic field lines. When a magnetic material is brought near to that field, it induces magnetism into the magnetic material that is induced magnetism. So what happens to the pole induced? Suppose this is north pole means when we bring near to that north pole, it gets attracted. Only unlike poles get attract. Before bringing this material near to the field, it is a non-magnet. When we bring close to the field, it get induced magnetism and it gets two poles and it gets attract. So attraction means unlike poles. Suppose this is north pole means this head will become south and it gets attract. So this is induced magnetism and this end will become north. I think you are getting, suppose this is south pole means this end will become north and this end will become south. So this process is called induced magnetism. Uh, I have taken uh, iron nail induced. So here north pole means head will be south and this one will be north and again another. This head will become south and this end will become north. So this is induced magnetism. Hope you got it. Please try this at home and learn through your experience. Thank you.